Brianna. It is in the kitchen with Chef Chris Hill from The Bachelor Kitchen. Now, really quick, tell us what you're making, but I also have something I want to ask you. Sure. Uh, we were doing a uh, little south of the border, kind of in, right up on Cinco de Mayo. Mm -hmm. We're going to do some pan-seared snapper over a little bit spicy, but uh, tomato sauce. Okay. And it's really super easy, so is a snapper. We're going to serve that little mango guacamole, and then uh, with some chips on the side if you want, okay. and finish it off with a passion fruit margarita. Now, of course, you know Beyonce has joined us in the kitchen to watch you cook. Also, we were talking about baby names, and you kind of have a fun story about how I do. you came up, came with your name. I don't really remember. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, my uh, uncle, I guess, didn't originally want kids, or uh -huh. I guess his wife didn't, and um, I was named to keep my grandfather's name going. I kept, I uh, was given his name, and then uh, the wife at the time got upset. And um, so for about two or three weeks, I was named Raymond Dunlap Hill III. Raymond Dunlap Hill III was your name for the first three weeks of your life. Thank God. You like Chris Hill. I like Chris We Hill. could have done either one. All right, yeah. when we come back, we're going to get started uh, cooking our delicious early Cinco de Mayo dish. That's right. Welcome back, everyone, in the kitchen with Chef Chris Hill from The Bachelor Kitchen, making a couple of fresh dishes with a Mexican flair in celebration of an early Cinco de Mayo. That's right. I figured it would give everybody a week or so head start to give it a <laughs> Figure out what the they're going to make, yeah. Yeah. All right, so what do we start with? I guess ingredients. You have a lot that you Yeah, we sure do. Um, we're going to get started with this Southwest tomato coulis, which is almost like a Mexican marinara of sorts. It's going to simmer over the course of the show. Okay. And be really delicious. All right. Maybe turn it down just a sec. Just a little bit. All so right. We have a bunch of onions. Some red bell pepper, okay. some jalapeno, some garlic, cumin, chili powder, salt pepper. Mm -hmm. This is uh, crushed tomatoes and some chicken broth okay. and some tomatillos and cilantro. Ah. So what we're going to do is, I'm first going to show you the quick technique for peppers. A lot of people don't Please know how to cut them. Please tell me because I... Cut oh, okay. it right in half and then just Pull rip this core. right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I and Then you want to just okay. cut away these white membranes. Oh, you don't want... Okay, gotcha. But it's super easy. So we're going to add that to the mixture as well. Okay. And then add yes. everything else and get started on the guacamole here. Depending on your spice palette. Yeah. You can determine how many of these are going to go in. Or leave it out all together. <laughs> you can also um, take all the seeds out, which okay. is what we'll probably do here in just a sec. Gotcha. Yeah, so we have about a, half of a bell pepper that we're going to throw right in there. Okay. And it's going to be really delicious. All these flavors are going to come together really nicely. Now, and by is this the end something of the show. you could make uh, ahead of time absolutely. and then throw absolutely. it in the pan uh, before you get started? Um, so here we're going to throw these is it in. The longer it simmers, the better? Yeah, the longer it simmers. And you know, if it sits overnight, all those flavors are going to marry together and be really delicious by okay. the end. There we go. Sounds good. Hey, I can help some, you out and stir something here. Yeah. And so, so we have like medium low heat. Okay. We got some garlic in there as well. Some fresh lime juice, okay. about half of a lime. Sounds good. We have these tomatillos, which are really cool. Um, I don't think I've ever had a tomatillo. They are um, a kind of in the same ballpark as a tomato, but they're going to mm -hmm. be a little bit sour. Okay. Um, but when you cook them, they turn really, really delicious. Really? So we're going to add that to it. And it's okay. a, really a staple in all these, the south of the border and Mexican, yeah. um, Argentinian dishes. This smells really, we're gonna really good. We're going to take one of these guys and throw it in there. Take about half a teaspoon of chili powder. Yeah. Some cumin. Okay. Maybe a touch more of this olive oil. Some salt and pepper. And of course, and we'll have this uh, on our website, so if folks are following along and want to make this at yeah. home, you can definitely do that. Try and it's, it out. One, it's one of those dishes that you can easily adapt to um, your liking. Yeah. Um, Put in what you want, take out what you don't yep. like. Around the chicken broth. Okay. Low sodium or chicken stock, either All one, of it? and then um, yep, go ahead okay. and throw the whole thing in. All right. And then the tomatoes. And the tomatoes. Now can you use, uh, you know, if people don't want to get fancy and crush their own and blend yeah. them up, you yeah, just I, use cans? I can. That's exactly okay. what I use. The San Marzano <laughs> makes a really good product as well. Um, okay. So that's going to simmer over the course of the show. Okay. And then before we go to break, if we have time to maybe do this guacamole. Okay, sounds good. Um, we have, this is two avocados. I've got one more here. I, I'm going to show one more technique too for avocados, all you guys that are kind of scared. <laughs> The Cut it down the middle, you have the pit, right? Mm -hmm. What you're just going to do is hit it, and then it comes there you out. go. All yep. right. And uh, one of our chefs was telling us, um, I think it was yesterday we had West Step from Red Sky Cafe. He was uh, mentioning that if you put the pit in the uh, avocado, it helps it from not turning brown. Exactly. And, That's, yeah. Um, I didn't know that. And then, and then what we're going to do instead of that is add some lime juice. So half of a lime. Okay. 
Oh, you know, we also need to add a little bit of cilantro. We're to still that keeping sauce. this on low, right? Yeah. Okay. Low. It's going to simmer. And then we're going to take a spoon and scoop this right out. And it's already. I don't know, some people like cut it into little cubes. And that's what, exactly what I did while you were uh, over there staring. Yeah. Careful, kids, uh, if you're trying that, don't hurt your hand. And we're actually, <laughs> we're actually going to do the same exact thing with this with this mango. Okay. You, there's a pit right down the middle. Mm -hmm. So you cut around. these cheeks off. And then the same thing we do with the avocado. Ah. Like this. And then okay. you take a spoon and spoon it right just out. Just scoop it out. Okay. Yeah. Sounds so. good. So what you been working on um, since you've last... Let's we'll see. I am um, actually <laughs> working on this. I have a meet and greet thing I'm doing. It's an event teaching some guys how to cook. Oh, okay. And then when's that going to uh, be? Uh, actually next Tuesday. And then oh, okay. The following week, they are coming back with the recipe that I show them how to do, and cooking for a bunch of females that are interested in cooking as well. Ah, so really kind of like a little. Now is it like a setup maybe? Yeah, Turn maybe. Turn date. Possibly. We're, we're, we're trying to keep it kind of low key, so. <laughs> So they're, you're going to teach them how to cook a recipe. They have to come. They have a week it, to try and mash it, put their own spin on it, and, and then, then they we're come gonna, back and cook it. How yeah. neat is that? Is this the uh, first time you're doing something like yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. Um, we got some really good response so far, and mm -hmm. um, have I think there's a couple more spots. So if anybody's out there, okay, um, shoot me an email at chris at bachelorkitchen dot com. Cool. Pay, uh, PayPal. You're and, also on um, Facebook too. Yeah, that's probably the easiest way to get a hold of me. Do you get a lot of uh, response from people, uh, you know, Facebooking or emailing you how to make recipes or they've seen something on the show? Yeah, like, yeah. How'd you do that? Um, a lot of it's really, like you said, through Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, it's such a cool, easy, open interaction, you know? Yeah. Um, so, it's cool. Sounds good. All right, we're going to let this simmer. Um, and then this, uh, the fish that you brought again is? Red snapper. We're just going to season it, pan sear it, flip it over. See, these are really huge, so we're going to actually finish it off in the oven. Okay. And then we have a margarita over here that a we're going to finish. margarita. I don't think you mentioned we were going to make this in the first beginning, oh, yeah. but okay, you can have a, get a compliment the drink with the All right. Area. Chris Hill, a.k.a., what was it, a Dunlap? Um, Raymond Dunlap. Raymond Dunlap. Dunlap. Thank, All right, thank send you. over to Chris. Thank Welcome back, everyone. In the kitchen was Chef Chris Hill from the Bachelor Kitchen making a couple of Mexican fiesta dishes for us in celebration of an early Cinco de Mayo. That's right. So um, this was our kind of like uh, take on a marinara Exactly, sauce. yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to put that on the bottom of the plate, put the fish, which we'll cook here in a minute, right okay. on top of it, finish off the guacamole, and bring some tortilla chips or tortillas if you want, make some okay. tacos. Really. Yeah. And really quick, remind folks what we had in that. Uh, we had a bunch onions. of stuff. The onions, uh, red bell pepper. While we are gone, I had some some cilantro, some jalapeno pepper, leave the seeds in or out depending on if you want hot or not. Okay. And then some lemon juice to finish it, or lime juice to finish it off. And always taste at the very end to right. make sure it, it's to your liking. And you said this one, this is the one that you want to simmer. Yeah, simmer. See how it's gotten way yeah, thicker since definitely. in the last, what, 20 minutes or so? Okay. And I'll continue to do that until we're done and it's ready All right, to go. let's roll to the fish All right, fish. Now. We're going to simmer this, we're going to season this similarly to the fish, okay. or to the uh, sauce rather. All right. Uh, with a little bit of salt and pepper. Lightly seasoned. You know, yeah. a lot of people just want to go crazy on the fish, but you don't no, really need to, especially wanna... if you have sauces like that. Yeah, and these are such really good fresh fillets I got. That was the cumin, right? That was the chili pow oh, powder chili pow and you had the cumin right here. Gotcha. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to sear this on each side. And if you have smaller pieces, this, these are kind of rare to see in the supermarket or fish uh -huh. market, but um, smaller pieces, okay. you can just really cook them for two or three minutes, three, or probably three or four minutes each okay. side. So, skin side up. Yep, skin side up, and then we'll flip it. And then for these, since you're so big, we're going to throw them in the oven. Okay. Um, now, how long? So, how long on each side? This is about, about three minutes on the side. Okay. We'll flip it over, throw it in the oven for about, let's say, eight minutes or so. Okay. And you have it on 400. 400 degrees, yep. Okay. It'll cool. just finish up and everything will kind of come together. All right. So, what would a uh, Cinco de Mayo feast be without some cocktails, cocktails, right? That's right. I got some <laughs> ice. Yummy. So I have now Beyonce is making sure you're mixing it right. I know. She's, She's not pregnant again, is she? No. <laughs> Hope not. I don't think so. All right. Jay Z. We have to call him up to ask him. So we have some tequila. All right. We have some sweet, uh, sweet and sour mix. All right. Some orange liqueur, like a triple sec. Okay. Cointreau, either one works. So, uh, the juice of half of a lime. The lime has been the star ingredient throughout. Throughout, yeah. Yeah. Again, ties all the flavors in together. I have some passion fruit oh, that I that pureed that together. Of, okay. I'm gonna grab the spoon. All right. Now you can you do it yourself like I did, or it's way easier, and I would recommend just buying uh, the puree or the okay. concentrate. But about two ounces of that, or about a whole uh, passion fruit. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll just shake this up. Shake it, shake it. How's the fish? It's good. Um, flip it? Yeah, why don't you take a quick peek? I can attempt. 
see if it's got a good sear on it. Yeah, go ahead and put that. That's good. Uh-oh. There you go. Ah, no, you're left. Okay, now this this would be a little challenge here. Uh, you got it? Okay. Got it, girl. Ah. Man, Yay. Nice. Ta-da. Okay, gotcha. Awesome. All right, so about three minutes on each side. Let's the skin side. Skin side, down now. down now, and then we'll throw it in the, in the oven just to finish off. It'll be nice and tender. We'll put that over okay. the sauce right here. So the sauce goes on the bottom. Fish will go on top. Top, and then we'll put the guacamole right on top. We'll leave a little bit of guacamole on the side for some chips and okay. some tortillas, and and top it off with. Yeah. Now, do you have you made you make this a lot for Cinco de Mayo? And your friends come over. Um, and have some other dishes. I think though. last year for Cinco de Mayo, I was on here. I made a skinny margarita. So I actually, think you were. So check yes. the recipe out for that too. I do, and you're on Facebook. I am Facebook. And you're also people can email you. At you're Chris at BachelorKitchen.com, and um, yeah. And your cookbook, when are we going to see a cookbook out from Well, you? I feel like I'm one month hiatus, literally, it was, yeah. I've been working so much, I had okay. to kind of clear my head and everything, but I'm back doing it, so um, hopefully, I'm thinking hopefully fall. Getting on the grind. All right, That's sounds right. good. Well, we can't wait to uh, taste this. We're going to plate this up when we come back at the end of the show. That's right. Chris it smells delicious. Kitchen, and we'll try it out. Thanks so much, Chris. Thank you.